What, bro? Come on, you have a shotgun. Oh, dang, that thing's legit. With all the recent nerfs to the Vanguard shotguns, it's been pretty rough to try to use some of them, and while I think some of the setups are totally fine, some of the guns now are just really rough to use and just make it more reason to use a gun like the PPSH or the MP40. Now, if you've seen the title of the video, you're probably thinking it's some weird clickbait type of thing, you know, where YouTubers will say one-shot shotgun and it takes like two shots to kill at least, or one shot against someone with like two plates or something like that. I don't really do that. Thankfully, I don't have to do that because the combat shotgun build, this one actually does one shot, specifically with a headshot. But I'll get into that in just a second. If you want to know what the best class is, I'll leave a timestamp in the description. But for those of you wanting to know more details about the setup and slugs in general, keep on watching. So what's the deal, right? Slugs on the combat shotgun are probably some of the best slugs to use for the Vanguard shotguns, definitely, with most other shotguns having real struggles when you use them. The combat shotgun does as well in some cases, but the real treat when using this gun with slugs is they can actually one-shot kill a fully armored player with head and neck shots. Even with just the base gun and slugs equipped, it'll still do it. The base gun with just slugs, so 16 gauge combat shotgun, can one tap headshot up to 15 meters. Now what about body shots? Sadly, it gets a little rough because it takes three body shots if you hit chest or stomach at that range. It used to only take two, but that was nerfed about a month ago or so. Now after that 15 meters, it does take two headshots to kill and four body shots. But if you hit one headshot, all it takes is one body shot generally. We do have attachments that actually do what they say they do now though, and give you more damage, such as the 12 gauge ammo type, the chariot barrel, and the sawed off barrel. With each of them, it basically makes it so that second damage range no longer takes four body shots, and it just takes three like the max damage range. The sawed off barrel gives you the most damage of the three, followed by the chariot barrel and the 12 gauge ammo, but the differences are just really not that noticeable. Specifically with the chariot and sawed off, the difference is so tiny. With the barrels though, even though it says we lose range, we do actually get a small boost to that 15 meter one shot kill range. And with the sawed off barrel, it goes up to about 17 meters, which is with 12 gauge and 16 gauge actually. And then the chariot barrel is only at around 16 meters. In terms of the other barrels, there really is no good reason to run them. The Framble 23 inch barrel, the big one, is bugged now, it doesn't really give you any range or damage, and honestly if it did I still probably wouldn't run it because it wouldn't be that big of a boost compared to how slow it makes you. The Precision barrel for extra headshot damage, I was hoping it would make the second range a one shot headshot still, but it doesn't. It does help that max damage range go up to about 16 meters though, big whoop with 12 gauge, but it hurts body damage and movement speed so it takes 4 shots in the second range as well. It's just not worth it, and the last barrel, the hit fire barrel, I mean it's fine I guess, but it's definitely not as good as the damage barrels. Now before you click off the video and just go run around with 12 gauge sawed off slugs, let me explain to you why I think that's probably not the best way to go kidding this gun. First of all, these are slugs, and things that widen your spread and hurt your accuracy will affect the gun's performance. Things that help accuracy and pellet tightness will help the slugs perform better. They have a slight bit of bloom, meaning whenever you aim down sights at a target, they may not go to the same place each time you shoot. And even though most guns have it, it's more pronounced on slug shotguns. The sawed off barrel widens that cone of where the slug can go, and even though you only get one meter of range basically more than the chariot barrel, we lose a lot of accuracy and it makes it harder to use at medium and longer ranges. And even at medium range, you may notice it acts a bit strange, so it's not ideal for trying to be as accurate as possible. So in my opinion, the chariot barrel is the way to go with slugs. It has no effect on spread, it doesn't hurt it or make it better. Even though you don't get quite as much damage or that one little meter of range, the difference between the two damage barrels just doesn't make much of a difference in most cases with shots to kill or time to kill. The only real time it may make a difference is if you meet someone with just enough health to get killed by the sawed off and not the chariot, so it's really niche, so honestly just go with the chariot barrel. 
I do want to mention though that muzzle velocity on the Vanguard shotguns is actually much easier to deal with than the Modern Warfare shotguns that we're used to because they have incredibly slow muzzle velocity, but on Vanguard shotguns, they don't have nearly as much of that slow muzzle velocity. It's definitely not as dramatic when you have to lead your target because it hits your target a lot faster with its quicker bullet velocity. So it kind of feels close to a hit scan gun at medium ranges. It does get harder at longer ranges as you would expect. And of course the accuracy also does affect that. So what's the build then? We have a few ways to go about it, but this build balances aim down sight speed and accuracy as the two priorities. Sprints of fire speed is in there, but it's more of a second class citizen in this build because rushing isn't as important for these medium range fights you're going to be in, which is typically the range I recommend playing with these with. First off, the choke and the chariot barrel. This combination will give you more damage and it's going to make your cone of spread for that slug smaller by a decent bit. For the stock, go with the CGC adjustable stock. Even though it doesn't help your sprint of fire speed as much as the wired stock, we don't need a crazy fast sprint of fire speed because of how we'll be using the gun. So go with this one and you'll get a nice boost to your sprint of fire and aim down sight speed together. So it's probably the better option of the two considering slugs hurt your aim down sight speed by about 30%, which is a lot. We need to make that a lot better. Then for the rear grip and under barrel grip, I chose the fabric grip and the skeletal grip. There's a few different options to go with here, but after considering them all, this is what I decided to use. The fabric grip gives you aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed at the cost of less accuracy. In the under barrel grips, we have that pistol grip, which is usually the go-to grip for a lot of people, but it hurts aim down sight's accuracy and it doesn't give us aim down sight speed like the other fabric grip does. Because of that, I chose the fabric grip for a slightly slower sprint to fire speed boost, but it gives you aim down sight speed, and then the skeletal grip is just for aim down sight speed, so we're not taking any more penalties to accuracy, which we don't need, and we really don't need that faster sprint to fire speed, so that's why I go with this grip. The magazine, I go with 12 gauge, even though it isn't really necessary, it's really the only mag I run, since five rounds is totally fine, and the seven and 10 I find are a bit overkill for a pump action like this, but by all means, try the 7 if you want. You'll still get 3 shot kills in that second damage range because of that damage barrel. Then we have slugs, of course. For the perks, really, it's up to you. Vital doesn't make any difference to your time to kill or anything. It does give you slightly more chest damage, but it's really just not worth it over sleight of hand or something else like quick. But it's just not really as worth it as sleight of hand or something similar to that, in my opinion. But that's all preference. You can choose whatever you want. It's really not that important. And then perk 2, I usually just use quick or something like that. You can use also for sights, you can use the Slate Custom Reflector Sights if you want. There's a 2.5x and 3.5x version that lets you switch optics, and it basically gives you an awesome boost to accuracy, but it does slow your aim down sight speed down, and I like iron sights more. It's just kind of what I do, and they're a lot cleaner than normal shotguns. But if you really want to snipe, then absolutely give one of the custom 2.5 or 3.5 sights a chance. Overall, this gun is really difficult to use, but once you get that practice in and you start learning how to deliberately aim for the head, you'll be amazed at how fun it can be. I would recommend going into Modern Warfare, equipping your slug shotgun, and just trying to aim for the head there. It's going to be harder with those shotguns, so coming to this shotgun will make it a little bit easier. And it always shocks people because they hear a shotgun when you shoot at them, but then they see you're like 40 meters away and hitting them, so it's, it's just really fun and a really enjoyable time. But it is difficult to use and it can be frustrating, especially especially in close range since you think it's a shotgun it should dominate at that but no slugs are going to make it even harder at close range just remember to aim down sights as much as you can and try to post up in that range where shotguns start to lose their punch so range is past about 10 meters or so which really isn't medium range i guess or maybe it is but that's just about gonna do it for this video guys so let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this build what do you think of slugs on the combat shotgun are they overpowered are they just right are they a little too weak and with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.